my dear students happy morning to all of you happy morning to all of you thank you very much last class i had done some problems on projection of pyramids one i gave you some hint how to draw the answers the first one being the true inclination the second one being the apparent inclination i also gave some hint how to start the initial figure when the pyramid is standing on the corner how to draw the initial figure pyramid standing on the edge how to start the initial figure all those details i have given in the last class and we have discussed some other problems on pyramids today i am going to draw i am going to give you instructions on some more problems on pyramids that is pyramids 2 let me make the points very clear to you because i have been giving instructions on a free hand drawing which you will be drawing with your instruments and with accurate dimensions please remember on the projectors what you draw from front view to top view top view to front view and all the locus lines when you draw parallel x y line either in the front view or the top view all those must be compulsorily drawn in light impression h pencil only the figures the top view front view must be drawn with h pencil dark remaining should be all construction line should be with h pencil the pencil work is hard most important when you do the engineering drawing any technical drawing there is a meaning of drawing light impression dark impression you should follow everything in total while you draw the projections projectors the follow me then the main figure today i am going to give you some more problem i am going instruction for some more problems on projection of pyramids i call this as pyramids 2 problem number 1 goes like this a hexagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on hp on one of its corners of the base very clearly problem says the hexagonal pyramid is resting on one of its corners of the base such that two base edges contain the corner on which it rests makes equal inclination with hp draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to hp at 40 degrees and to vp at 30 degrees the data is very clear it says very clearly 25 mm side hexagon pyramid 50 mm is the axis length stands on one of its corners right hand side you have to keep the corner initial figure and two of the base edges they are all equally inclined we make equal inclination it says draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to hp at 40 degrees and to vp at 30 degrees single centers i had explained to you about this in the previous occasion the axis inclined to hp at 40 degrees and the axis inclined to vp at 30 degrees both are true angles both are true angles we make one true angle at 40 degrees to hp in the first step and the last step you know we have to find the beta angle and till the figure to the beta degree not for 30 degrees the answer goes like this i have a hexagon pyramid in my hand all of you can see it is quite very familiar it is a hexagon pyramid in my hand the dimensions are very clearly mentioned in the problem right hand side you must have a corner right hand side you must have a corner draw the top view front of the pyramid initial figure draw the front of the pyramid make the pyramid to stand in the corner make the pyramid to stand in the corner then we have the axis inclined at 40 degrees to hp automatically base will become 50 degrees to hp now draw the new top view while drawing the top you can make it very clearly apex is nearer base is away apex is nearer base is away in the top view what will happen the base outer bound is seen but not fully seen some portion may become a dotted line then again it says we have a top view of the axis here top view of the axis it says is inclined to vp now we have to find the beta angle find the beta angle and turn the next step you know to the beta degree find the beta angle and turn it to beta degree that's the in the final as again if you turn in this manner in the front view base is fully seen by chance some students can do in this manner in the front view base is outer bound to seen not fully seen depending upon the apex and the base whichever is nearer to the look arrow accordingly the view ver- view varies and i i repeat once again initial figure x can permit top view front view make it inclined the axis is inclined 40 degrees then he says 30 degrees to vp so 
30 degrees to BP means you have to find the beta angle and turn the 30 degree, beta angle to BP, then draw the front view where basis will be seen. This is the problem number one procedure. To, I'll just explain the entire procedure, how to carry the answer on the, on the sheet. Now, we also proceed to problem number two now. Problem number two, which I'm going to cover today in pyramid two. Problem number two. A square pyramid, 35 millimeter sides of base, and 60 mm axis length, rests on HP on one of its slant edges. Draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degrees. It's a square pyramid which is resting on one of its slant edges, not on triangular surfaces. I did last time, last time I did one problem where a pentagon pyramid lying on triangular surface. Now it is a square pyramid lying on slant edge, known as inclined edge, not on triangular surface. The problem clearly says the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degrees. Absolutely no need to find a beta angle because the word appears is used. The answer for the present problem goes in this manner. I have a square pyramid in my hand. In my hand, a square pyramid. Right hand side you have a corner. Corner, draw the top in front of you because the corner contains the slant edge. Whereas if you have an edge in a base side, it contains a triangular surface. So right hand side you have a corner, draw here the top view front of the square pyramid. Very first step, make it to lie on the slant edge. Make it to lie on the slant edge. Draw the new top view, upper end top view. Since the base is nearer, apex is away, in the top view the base is fully seen, fully seen, and the square base will appear like a rhombus. Then the third step, uh, second step, the third figure, we make it inclined to VP. The angle is given, inclined to VP is 45 degrees. Make it 45 degrees to VP, do you follow me? Without beta construction and draw the final front view. I repeat once again, initial figure, make it lay on slant edge, then make it 45 degrees to VP, draw the top view, top view, top view front view for every step that we carry on. Initial figure, first step and the second step. That is the completion, complete answer for the problem number two, which deals with the square pyramid. I proceed to discuss with you about the problem number three. Problem number three, a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron. Most of you heard about all these things in the school days, about various, various um, solids, geometrical solids. Tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, oh, many things you have studied, I know, in your school days. We are going to study today a tetrahedron. The problem goes like this. A tetrahedron of size 40 millimeter is resting on one of its sides on HP. This side is parallel to VP and 40 mm away from it. It is tilted about the resting side such that the base containing this edge is inclined at 30 degrees to be 30 degrees to HP. Draw the projections of the solid. Very simple data. Let us try to understand the complete data here. It says a tetrahedron of size 40 millimeter is resting on one of its sides, not on the corner, on HP. The standing side is parallel to VP, it says, and 40 mm away from it. So from X, Y line, you should be away from it at the final figure 40 mm. It is tilted about the resting side such that the base containing this edge, the base is inclined at 30 degrees. Automatically, you can make out axis will become 60 degrees to HP. Draw the projections. Draw the projection. I just want to discuss with you what exactly is the tetrahedron. What exactly is the tetrahedron? Can anyone tell me what is a tetrahedron? What is a tetrahedron? Can anyone tell me what is a tetrahedron? You have studied this in your school days. About almost all the solids you have studied. It is very simple to understand what exactly it is. Let me make things clear to you. Things clear to you. Tetrahedron is a solid made up of four equilateral triangles. And all the triangles are equal. I repeat once again, tetrahedron is a solid made up of four equilateral triangles and all the triangles are equal, not unequal. It's a triangular pyramid, the triangular pyramid. I have in my hand, you can just see a triangular pyramid, tetrahedron. 
each and every side is 40 mm each and every side is 40 mm in this in the triangular pyramid very easy to understand base a b b c c a they are all 40 mm each then o a o b o c they are again again 40 mm each side we have three equal triangles bottom we have one equal triangle this is what is called a tetrahedron i repeat once again this is a solid made up of four equilateral triangles and all the triangles are equal this is what is called as tetrahedron the present problem says the tetrahedron is standing on the side so i'll keep a right hand side like this and draw the top view front of the tetrahedron the base the base i know i just make the base inclined at 30 degrees to hp automatically you understand that axis will become 60 degrees to hp it makes that is draw the top view in the top view what will happen apex is nearer base is away carefully complete the top view then make a 90 degree turn so that the standing side becomes parallel when you make a 90 degree turn parallel you should come in front of x y line 40 mm the problem clearly says the standing side which is parallel to vp and 45 mm away from it away from vp that's will be the final answer so we can turn it in this manner you can turn it in this manner but see that the standing side is 40 mm i repeat once again we have here the top view front of the tetrahedron and then make it 30 degrees again they make it you can make it 40 degrees either this way or this way and when you make it right parallel here this parallel side might be 40 mm from the xy line that is tetrahedron let me ask you one more question can anyone tell me what is hexahedron? What is hexahedron? Now you know the tetrahedron. What is hexahedron? Many students used to say it is so six faces, so six triangles. So then uh, six triangles cannot make a solid. And the bottom cannot be over six triangles cannot make a solid. Then everybody says sir, six, six is what is the six? I don't know. Uh, I used to make fun of my students, you know, six, it is not six faces, it is not Aurumagam like, you know, it is not Aurumagam like. Hexahedron is a solid made up of six square surfaces. All the square surfaces are equal. Your cube is a hexahedron. Your cube is a hexahedron, which has got six faces, square surfaces. All the square surfaces are equal. Please note this point because the problem on tetrahedron, problem on hexahedron very frequently appear in the examination. Both are very important. Important. Tetrahedron is a solid made up of four equal triangles wherein all the triangles are equal. Hexahedron is a solid made up of six square surfaces and all the square surfaces are equal. Cube is a hexahedron. With this, with this background, I have now solved all the three problems for pyramid 2 that is a hexagon pyramid which has got a beta angle then the square pyramid lying on slant edge then tetrahedron standing and inclined again making parallel I will show the entire procedure in freehand sketching I am just doing it from the beginning but I request all the students to please produce the answers on the graph sheet or the y sheet using the instruments and see that they properly dimensions are followed, accurate dimensions are followed in preparing the figure, top view front of figures. And I again, again repeat once again, projectors and the locus lens must be drawn in light impression in H pencil. Only the figures must be dark. HP top view front must be dark. The skill is necessary, you know, where is skill is necessary? Most of the students I have seen them drawing happily the initial figure, happily the first step. The second step, when you want to reproduce the figure, it will be a lot of skill in the skill and concentration with the proper instrument to reproduce it, then get the projection done. With this as introduction, I am going to start giving you instructions. I am going to start the instructions about the, all the three problems for today's class.